They're taking no chances at Buckingham Palace. Even cameras need to keep a distance. As well as dealing with the obvious threat from terrorists, on quite a few occasions, the police have had to confront people trying to enter the Queen's London residence without an invitation. This morning's would-be intruder arrived at this gate. He was apprehended immediately, the police say, and found to have a knife. All this a week before the next significant royal event. Although this particular instance is unfortunate, uh, the police and obviously the palace security dealt with it highly effectively. And in wake of a number of high profile royal events such as the christening which are going to be coming up, uh, this actually could have proven quite a useful dress rehearsal, if you like, to the th types of threats that they need to be prepared for. Prince Andrew, who was in Japan early this month, is a victim of heightened royal security. In September, two days after a man scaled a fence at the palace, Andrew was stopped by armed officers in the garden, demanding to know who he was. The prince wasn't amused. The police apologised. This morning's incident here at this iconic palace appears to be an example of royal security being tested and working as it should. There have been several examples in the past of breaches which have left the Windsors potentially exposed and the police embarrassed. Two decades on from when the Queen woke up to find a stranger at the end of her bed, this man in 2004 made it close to her balcony. He spent five hours on this ledge as part of a campaign for improved access rights for separated fathers. And no royal residence has escaped the attention of those seeking publicity. Happy birthday! At Windsor Castle, a comedian Aaron Barshak, dressed like this, gate crashed Prince William's 21st and kissed the future king on both cheeks. In response, the law on trespass at palaces has been tightened. The Queen, who wasn't here when the 44-year-old man tried to get in this morning, will be relieved. It was resolved as quickly as it was. Peter Hunt, BBC News, Buckingham Palace.